Riders to the Sea is an one-act play by the Irish playwright, poet, and travel writer Edmund John Millington Singe. He was born in 1871 and died in 1909. Singe wrote many proses, short stories, novels, and poems, but he was most famous for his dramas and fictional proses. Riders to the Sea is one of his most famous plays. He wrote these when he was in Aran Island. Hello everyone, welcome to Slideshow English. In this video, we will try to discuss all about Riders to the Sea. We will cover its background, its characters, plot and many more. So let's get started and let's make English straightforward. In 1897, Singe had a major operation in his neck. Then his friend and colleague W.B. Yeats told him to visit the Aran Island. In Aran Island, Singe heard many stories from the common people and recorded them in his book The Aran Island. When he was in that particular island, he wrote an one-act play, Riders to the Sea. In this play, there are four major characters. The first one is Moria, an aged widow woman. Moria had eight children. The eight children were Kathleen, Nora, Swan, Seamus, Stephen, Patch, Michael, and Bartley. But the play begins with the death of her five sons, including her husband. The second important character is Kathleen. Kathleen is Moria's elder daughter. Third character is Nora. Nora is the younger daughter. She helps in household works. The fourth character is Bartley. Bartley is the younger and only living son of Moria. So Bartley is the only living male of their family because Moria's husband and other five sons had already died. So now there are four living members, Moria, her elder daughter Kathleen, younger daughter Nora, and younger son Bartley. The plot of this play is like that, Moria already lost her husband and other five sons in the sea. Now her younger son Bartley plans to go out in the sea in order to sell their horses. So their mother Moria tries to stop him but he wants to go to the sea. Bartley gets ready with his horses. Then their sisters tell their mother to go and give Bartley some food and blessings. In the meantime, when their mother has gone, the two sisters discovered the clothes of their another brother Michael and they understand that their brother Michael had died. After this scene, their mother returned looking very worried and frightened. She comes and reports that she saw Michael's ghost or spirit is riding in the back of Bartley's horse. She was very shocked because she does not yet know that Michael is already dead. Then their daughters try to make her come and they tell her that Michael had died. After hearing this, she gets a tremendous shock. Then some villagers bring the dead body of Bartley. They also report that the horse knocked Bartley into the sea and he drowned. Then Moria gets the holy water and sits beside Bartley's dead body. She sprinkles that holy water on Bartley's body and she says that now she can sleep well. Now she has nothing to worry about. Now she has no tension. Because all her sons, including her husband, has drowned into the sea. They went to sail their horses but returned their bodies without any life in them. So this is the main plot we discussed and illustrated. This very famous play by Singe is adapted into many films and theatres. No doubt this is a very heart-touching work of writing. We hope 
that the whole concept is clear. If not, please comment down below. Now before we end this video, let us have the question of the day. Riders to the Sea is a famous play by Millington Singe. Today's question is, how many acts this play has? Is it 1, 2, 3, 4 or whatever else? Put your answer in the comment section and let other viewers tell if you are right or wrong. Beside that, you can be subscribed to us to get more exclusive contents like that. But for now, tell me goodbye, we will be meeting on another slideshow English video.